Hi, Mr. Reeds are here and um, uh, again continue with my balancing videos, uh, balancing chemical reactions and we're going to look at a single replacement one today and uh, or in this video and what um, what we're going to do is uh, I've only given you the uh, I've only been given the uh, reactants and because this is a single replacement I'm actually going to work through it we'll get the products and then we're going to balance this so let's get started. Uh, now again, in a single replacement reaction, we're going to look and see we're going to have one ion alone by itself, or one element alone by itself over here. And we have to replace that with whatever the uh, similar ion is in the, in the ionic compound that we're given in the other, uh, that it's going to combine with. Um, so here we have aluminum. I know aluminum has a charge of positive three, so it's a positive ion and that is going to uh, switch places with this copper too. Okay, I know that chlorine has a charge of negative one, uh, so to balance this out, this is going to uh, give this a positive two charge, so I'm going to switch those out. So that will give me in my reaction now AlCl3, because this has to be electrically neutral again. Aluminum has a charge of positive three. This has a charge of negative one, so that's how those balance. And, uh, and copper. And copper is monoatomic, so we need to look at our states as well. So copper is not only monoatomic, but that's going to appear as solid. And uh, this, if I use my solubility chart, I will find out that this is aqueous. So that means that it's, uh, it will dissolve in solution. Now let's get on to the balancing. All right, now that we have our um, completed reaction, now that we have our completed reaction, um, we know what our products are, we need to balance this. So again, just like I've done in at other times, I'm going to write some notes down at the bottom here uh, with each element that is uh, in the reaction on each side of the reaction. So I have aluminum, I have copper, and I have chlorine, and on this side I have aluminum, uh, copper, and let's write chlorine again. So we can start, I have one aluminum on this side, I have one copper and I have two chlorines. And on this side, I have one aluminum, I have one copper and I have three chlorines. So again, let's write a space for our coefficients. Okay. And start balancing from left to right. So aluminum, I have one aluminum, one aluminum, they're balanced and uh, let's continue. Copper, I have one copper here, another copper here. So far, so good. Now I'm going to run into my chlorines and I know that these are unbalanced, two and three. So I need to look at the lowest common multiple of these two, which would be six. So uh, in order to get my lowest common multiple, I'm going to put a three in front here and that will now give me six chlorines and in order to do that I'm going to have to put a two in front of here. Two times three gives me a total of six. Now I'm not finished. Uh, sometimes students like to stop here. They think they've done their work because my notes down here show me that I'm finished. But because I've wrote coefficients that means I've unbalanced something else. So let's take a look at my aluminums. On this side I have one and over here now I have two aluminums. So I have two aluminums on this side, so I'm going to write a coefficient of two on this side. My aluminums are now balanced. And I have three coppers on this side. Three and easy enough, I can write a three on this side, which gives me a three over here. Now my reaction is balanced, I've checked it out. You should never be getting any of these wrong, uh, or you should know when you're wrong. You may get them wrong, but at least you'll know that you're wrong if your math doesn't add up. Okay, so again, practice these, and again, in a single replacement reaction, I take the, I look at what element is on its own out here. I need to see if it's a positive or a negative ion, and then I replace it, I switch it, with the uh, similar ion in the ionic compound that it's combining with. Okay, and that's a single replacement reaction. So again, we use that, find our products, and then balance the equation. Practice these, and um, we will see you in class. Science.